Hey guys, it's Big Dave here for Tales of Talara, and it's Monday, and you know that means it's time for Warfronts. This week on Warfronts, I'm using my backup microphone, so if it sounds a little weird, that's the reason why. Also, with this microphone, I kind of have to yell, so if you ever watched old episodes of Warfronts, you'll remember that I was always talking as if I was hurried and yelling, and this is the reason why, because this microphone sucks. So, this is my level 50 Pyromancer Dominator Mage, this is, of course, the Codex, as if you could not tell. We head out immediately to the decks. I find a little guy hiding here under the edge, and I uh, do a little bit of a rope-a-dope here. Well, maybe not rope-a-dope, but, you know, I don't know sports terminology. I come out, I make myself visible, and then I hide. So, is that, is that a cowardly move, I think they would call that in sports? Yeah. But in the end, it works, because, hey, we end up actually uh, going forward and taking the decks, and there's nothing wrong with that, right? Cowardice in the face of danger, if it works out in the end, uh, I think it's a positive thing. So we're going to finish off this chap here and then turn to his friend. And this is pretty much going to uh, be sort of the, the theme of the game, is uh, me playing smarter, if not cowardly-er. Uh, I did a lot of playing this week. After the last video where I was very, very upset with my play and where I sort of was with my mage, I dedicated myself to uh, several two-hour play sessions. It was really tough to find the time for those, but I ended up playing three or four two-hour play sessions, uh, which is probably more Rift than I've played in a long time. So that was really, really good. It felt good to get to do that, but at the same time, I've, <laughs> I've had my fill of Rift for at least this week, so... Uh, I wanted to come back on the mage for a second week and try to show you guys what I've learned. And what I've learned is to expand my horizons, use more of the skills that I haven't been using and utilizing. Uh, specifically Storm Shackle and whatever the hell the thing is called that you get from the Archon tree that gives you a endur uh, uh, an endurance buff. I don't remember what it's called. So I'm folding those into my into my uh, repertoire here. I still need macros. I have like one macro that I use that sort of macros together all of my dominator spells, all of the stuff like the one that drains mana, mana wrench, and the other few that, uh, the, the debuffs basically. It's, it's one macro that just has a bunch of debuffs on it. And uh, occasionally I'll just spam that out on somebody. Uh, the things that I'm not doing really well right now is uh, using my cooldowns. Still having difficulty remembering to pop those cooldowns. I don't think I pop the uh, one... I, God, me and names of these spells. I need a list of the spells. <coughs> Excuse me. The spell that uh, gives me a bunch of ghosts. Uh, I don't pop that, I don't think, in this whole entire match. And uh, I think I might use Internalized Charge one time, which is my other big cooldown that I should be using uh, to really boost my damage. So it's a learning process, and I'm, I'm kind of enjoying the process of the learning. So... Uh, I, I think in this match overall, I do a lot better uh, than I have done in the past, and I have to say that I'm, I'm feeling a little bit more upbeat, so to speak. Uh, there are still many things in this game that frustrate the hell out of me, but uh, as far as sort of getting out of it what I put into it, I'm feeling like I'm getting more of that these days. So that's a really positive thing, because before it felt like I would have a really, really good match. I would, I would put in a lot of effort. I would go through my rotations, I would hit my spells, and then I would have like 30k damage and uh, just do horrible. Mm. It, it, it's not fun. It's not fun to put all that effort in and feel like you're doing well and then not. Uh, so you're going to see, if you've been watching in the background, uh, you will see me using some spells that I, I, I don't always use and uh, finishing things. I'm, I'm doing a, a better job, I think, of finishing things. Understanding when to put what spell where so that I can finish a guy. Uh, that's working out a little bit better. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm glad that that's happening. And uh, there's going to be a couple of, of, of opportunities in this match for sort of learning experiences, I suppose. But uh, what you're going to see here is uh, a bunch of people that are all just sort of t testosteroned up. You know, we've all had a bunch of, uh, a bunch of kills up here. We're really enjoying the, uh, the spectacle of being up here at the Codex and, and all of the combat that comes with it. And then there's not any combat for a minute. So I'm like, mm, let me hop on my lion horse, cow, and uh, find something to do. And this is one of those learning opportunities, okay? This is a one-on-one -on -one duel. We both start with 100% health, and uh, here we go. We're going at one another, right? He is uh, leading, obviously. He's taking me down, and uh, I'm trying to go through my rotation, and I think the problem that I ended up having here in this duel, which I should have won, uh, no question, I should have won this duel, 
Uh, the problem is I didn't use any cooldowns, which I could have used. And uh, number two is I tried to use too many things. I got too diverse with my uh, spell selection, and I think that ended up being a negative as well. So there is the you know, one side of the coin, which is the me who doesn't use enough of his spells, and then there's the other side of the coin, which is the me that tries to use too many. And there was absolutely no reason that I had to lose that duel uh, other than the fact that I got too complicated with my spell selection. So if I, if I sort of would have just stuck to the basics, hit internalized charge, and uh, just burn that guy down, I would have been a happy person. But instead, I lose a very close duel to someone that I probably should have wiped the floor with. But that's the learning process here, and that's where I am with this game. Uh, as long as I've been playing it, I am perpetually in the learning phase. Uh, and that's just me. That's the way that I play games. I, I'm very rarely ever an authority on anything when it comes to uh, video games. Uh, there are things in my life which I feel that I'm an authority on, things that I know about, uh, things that I am, you know, very uh, astute and adept in, uh, and all of these uh, good, uh, interesting words at, at uh, mastering and explaining and talking about, but this isn't one of them. Uh, I do actually like uh, one of the moves that I pull off here, which is basically, again, it's cowardice, it's, it's running away, uh, but... Again, you will see how my cowardice does in the end pay off because I make a little trip around that mountain and that gives me just enough time to get a little backup in and as they come in, I run towards them. Help me, help me, they're trying to kill me. And they indeed help me and I, I am very happy about that. So, you know, extending my life, living just a few seconds longer, uh, I could have given up and just taken that death, but instead I chose to take evasive action, if you will, and what it led to was living and not dying, so uh, that's a wonderful thing, not dying. Uh, you can see me here wrestling with, with a healer, um, not really making much headway, but eventually we do all sort of stack up. I'm, again, using one of my debuffs there that you rarely see me use, that was Mana Wrench. Uh, that's not something that you've seen me have in my repertoire before, uh, but I am trying to get that into rotation because it gives me more mana, which is, number one, good, and uh, it also happens to uh, drain theirs, so that's also good. And uh, you're going to see, again, that I, I do at times get a little bogged down with what to use. You'll see I hit my uh, my Reflect... Uh, what the hell's the name of that spell? I don't know. It's the spell that... me Again, me with the names of spells. It's the spell that gives everybody around you a chance to uh, reflect spells. So, uh, you know, again, that's something that is, has been on my bar, but it's not necessarily in my thought process, in my rotation. And I did have to click that spell, uh, but I would like to come up with a way in the future not to have to do that. Right now, I have about, uh, what is it, uh, 12, 14-ish buttons that I can access uh, with modifiers. So some stuff's going to have to be streamlined, obviously. Some macros are going to have to be constructed. Uh, but... Uh, Instead of getting too bogged down on that, let's talk about our mistake here. We lose the codex. What the hell? We lose the codex in an attempt to get the translation scope. Never that. Never, never, never do that. That's not a trade you ever want to make, right? That's Bush League. That's amateur stuff. That's stuff that I, I learned the first week that this game was out. You know, that's, uh, that's something everybody on my team should know. I think we were all just a little bit drunk, you know, just uh, drinking in the blood of our enemies as I'm just hitting stuff around me. Uh, I'm in a sort of impromptu studio this week for the uh, recording, so uh, yeah, it's I'm, I'm really crowded in here and I just hit a printer with my hand, so uh, yeah, excuse any pops into the mic, excuse my uh, general uh, crazy voice, uh, but I'm having to talk really loud in, in order to actually uh, get this microphone to pick me up, so uh, suck balls microphone and next week I'll be back on my other microphone, but uh, yeah, moral of the story, don't give up the codex, there you go. So we're going to engage this gentleman here and... Um, I don't know what spec this guy is. I'm looking at the buffs, trying to figure out Mage Chloromancer, I'm guessing. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I hate classes that can heal themselves, and I hate that it took two of us to kill that guy, but you know what? Who cares? Uh, because we did it, and uh, now we're actually being a little bit intelligent about our movement here. We're setting up, we're taking a look at the uh, Codex at the flag point, and we can see that it is uh, hotly contested. Uh, so this guy is going to extend himself forward to try and uh, and uh, mess with us a little bit, and uh, we're not going to have it. We are going to go ahead and team up on him, the three of us, four of us, however many people are here, and we're going to go ahead and take this guy out. Uh, so all in all, let's talk about this game as it's, it's going to slowly roll uh, to a conclusion here. 
I am kind of getting the hang of this mage thing. Uh, I am starting to slowly understand what I need to do and when I need to do it, how to best uh, complement my team, how to uh, use my abilities to my advantage and their advantage. Uh, as you see me here just being the smart player and grabbing the flag, of course, that's what you should always do, right? I saw at least one person uh, sort of skate by it, but whatever, you know, we got it, and that's all that matters in the end. So I'm slowly progressing on my mage, I'm learning, I am expanding my horizons as a player, and uh, I am, uh, I'm kind of starting to get this stuff. And that's something that is uh, very important. You know, I always had the ability to understand the basic concepts of this game at a lower level, and that worked. And I could sort of use that to my advantage in order to actually play the game really well. But now that it comes to level 50 and everything is on sort of an even keel, you know, everybody understands the strategy, or most people understand the strategy of how this stuff is to be played, I can no longer exploit inexperienced players, essentially. You're going to see another nice cowardly move here. I get overwhelmed by guys, so I think I'm just going to take to the water and swim. Maybe they won't want to get wet. They won't follow me. Uh, but yeah, pointless death there, uh, but who really cares? Uh, victory is well in hand, and uh, in the end, I just, I was totally overwhelmed, and I thought, well, maybe I can draw some of these guys away, draw them off, break their group. Um, that's what I'll say, at least, as I try to save face. So this has been a really weird episode. Um, part of me would want to re-record this, but I'm not gonna, because I just don't have the uh, ability to do it with this microphone and with the yelling, because my voice is going to be gone after this. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I hope you can see my growth. Uh, this is a much better game than what we had last week. I uh, put out a lot of effort. I tried to stay on task. I tried to stay on point. I kept damage going and going and going. And wow, that is a train. There is a train. I don't, you guys probably can't hear that. But there is a train. It sounds like it is literally next door to me. Uh, but I know it's not. Uh, so... Anyway, I hope you can see a, an improvement here uh, in my playstyle, incorporating more of my really good spells and skills into my rotation, uh, just trying to focus more, just trying to get to a place where uh, I can actually play like I have some sense, if you will, and I've always been good at that. Like I said, playing like I have some sense. Back when playing like you had some sense just equaled playing the objective and doing the things that you needed to be doing, and, and now it's more. It's more than that. And you'll see that I do get a decent enough damage total. I think that the damage total that I got is on par with the amount of damage I felt I was putting out. So that's a positive thing. When that happens, uh, I'm always happy. You know, when I look at a score and the score seems a lot lower than it should be, that's when things start to go wrong. When I start to think, what am I doing wrong? Why do I suck so bad at this? But when I look at that number, that number feels about right. I know that I could have boosted that higher by using internalized charge more frequently, by using my other cooldowns, and just generally by keeping on the damage a little bit more than I was. So it's a positive thing. We're heading in the right direction now, and I do appreciate you guys sticking with me. All right, guys, this has been Big Dave, and as always, take it easy.